So today we actually released uh, our American Bering Beetles here at the wild. Um, and the American Bering Beetle is one of the uh, first endangered uh, beetles to be put on the endangered species list. It's really exciting for us to actually get to be a part of breeding them and releasing them, bringing them back to Ohio. They originally were all over the uh, eastern portion of the United States and there's only a few pockets of wild uh, beetles left. So we actually go every year to Nebraska. We go and collect wild beetles and we breed them here. We breed a couple of generations and then the following year we release them. So the American bearing beetle gets its name because it buries carrion. Um, and they use that carrion, a breeding pair will come together, they'll mate, they'll bury the carrion, they actually excrete uh, some liquid that is antibacterial, antimicrobial, um, and that will kind of preserve that carrion so that they can lay the eggs on it and then the larva will survive on it. Um, and we're basically helping them along in the process today. So we have provided that carrion, we've provided the dead rats for the breeding pair, uh, and then we put them on the rat directly to kind of inspire that natural activity to happen of laying the eggs. They'll prep the rat, the rat they'll take all the fur off of the rat. Um, and then hopefully in a couple of weeks, we'll actually come back and check uh, for larva to see if some of our uh, um, breeding pairs that we've set up here are successful. Um, so the American bearing beetle uh, became endangered, it was listed as endangered in 1989. So they used to be plentiful, they were all across the eastern portion of the U.S. Um, and uh, obviously with a lot of other animals, their decline has been linked to uh, habitat modifications, fragmentation, uh, development, and also uh, there's a potential link between the passenger pigeons, so that passenger pigeons used to black out the sky, there were so many of them, uh, and it's thought that the extinction of the passenger pigeon may have contributed to the decline uh, and ex uh, extinction or extirpation of the American bearing beetle because it's kind of the perfect size of uh, carrion species for the beetle. Uh, the American bearing beetle is super important to the environment because they help to decompose all of the carrion that is out in the forest. Um, and they also bring those nutrients back into the soils. And it's especially important here with our degraded soils uh, that we have these guys bring them back, uh, bring this population back here to help improve the soils here for not only these organisms, but for all of the other plants and animals that are here on property. So today we had some help here at our release. Uh, we had many camp kids here and it was extremely helpful because uh, it's a lot of work uh, and also we're now inspiring that next generation so it's really cool to see them get involved um, and not be kind of grossed out or squeamish by the rat, uh, actually holding insects. Um, that's one of the exciting things about the camp programs and our owl programs. We often have them come in and do beetle barn tours and they actually get to hold the insect and so a lot of people, you know, you, they're probably afraid of insects or don't like insects and we hope to foster that kind of love and care for insects even though they're small um, and they're kind of creepy looking. Once you actually get a hand on them you see they're kind of cool and it really does foster an appreciation for these um, insects which you know they're just as important as the cute and fluffy animals that we have um, so it's, it's really inspiring to see these kids really getting into it and, and really um, uh, taking initiative and, and not being afraid. So 